Yes, I am doing everything in my power to not make a video on Adam Sandler's A Crazy Nights because I do not feel like watching that movie again. Hey readers, you remember Rugrats? It was a SpongeBob SquarePants level popular animated show on Nickelodeon during the 90s and early 2000s about four to six babies with overactive imaginations getting into various hijinks. They could talk, but only amongst themselves. All the adults could hear was goo goo gaga. The only ones that could hear them and communicate back were the older kids that were regular characters. Angelica, Tommy's cousin and the poster child of white women spoiled in their privilege, and Susie Carmichael, the one who constantly and appropriately puts Angelica in her fucking place. However, outside of the imagination playscapes the babies always placed themselves in when they were going on adventures, one of the things I enjoyed about Rugrats most of all were the holiday specials for one particular reason. You see, I grew up in a relatively Christian household. My mom is Christian and my dad was an atheist with certain Christian traditions embedded in him growing up. So, as you'd imagine, the main winter holiday that was celebrated in the Rita's household was Christmas. And there was so much Christmas stuff on TV. Frosty the Snowman, Santa Claus is Coming to Town, the Hanna-Barbera Christmas specials, and the specials of various other animated shows for kids on cable television. Combined with how the media marketed the holiday, there was such an abundance of specials and the like aimed at Christmas and Christmas only growing up in the 90s that it was hard to think that there were any other holidays that took place in December outside of it and New Year's. And while, of course, Rugrats had their own Christmas special, they also had another one on the first episode of its fourth season. This one, however, was on the Jewish holiday, Hanukkah. Hanukkah! You have to when you say it. <laughs> now, I'm not just gonna sit here and lie and say that the Rugrats Hanukkah special was the first time I ever heard about the holiday. I did learn about it in elementary school, along with Kwanzaa, which Rugrats also had a holiday special for in 2001, but it was taught to me by my second grade teacher in a way that didn't allow me to digest it properly in order to actually understand it. Which says a lot, actually because I was able to understand Passover and the concept of its second hand due to the fact that the story of Passover is also part of the story of Moses. And as I've stated in my Prince of Egypt Film Friday video, I loved the story of Moses growing up. So when I saw the Rugrats Hanukkah special when it premiered in 1996 at eight years old, not only was it the first non-Christmas holiday special I've ever seen growing up, but it was also what helped me digest and properly understand the meaning of the holiday. Of course, now that I'm an adult who regularly analyzes media to the point where I might as well have a degree in it, I can see a few things about the special that I missed when I first watched this. Things like how the special never ever says the word Jew, Jewish, or Hebrew throughout it. Despite referencing iconic Old Testament stories that make up the Torah, the very mentioning of the Torah, Ah, so you want to know more about the Torah? Huh? And stating the difference between a church and a synagogue. I'll meet you over at the church. It's a synagogue, Hanukkah boy. Right, right, I knew that. The special does pretty much everything but mention the Jewish and Hebrew people outright, and instead vouching for the my people and my heritage angle. Also, the story of Boris and Shlomo being misunderstood rivals and how that execution was handled in the second half of the episode was brilliant looking at it with the eyes of a storyteller. I admit, I wasn't quite there to understand the full dynamics of that exchange they had behind the curtain when I watched it with my eight-year-old brain. 
but I'm sure others around my age at the time definitely were, especially if they had older parents or relatives that understood Shlomo's plight and explained it to them. And then, of course, there's Angelica. The one who represents the all-American, mostly white individual who seeks their own gratification first and foremost and cares nothing about the holiday, its traditions, or what it means to the people celebrating it, unless it gets in the way of what they want. I think that depends on what you're... No, no. That wasn't a question. Ever since then, more non-Christmas holiday specials started popping up in other popular children's programming, and I'm definitely glad that was the case. One that immediately comes to mind is Disney's Pepper Ann. She, like Tommy, is also part of an interfaith household, but because her parents are divorced, she celebrates Hanukkah with her mom and Christmas with her dad and is being pressured to state which holiday is the best one. I haven't seen that special in forever though, so I don't know if it still holds up. But while I'm absolutely sure they weren't the first to do it, Rugrats not only helped show that the holidays mean more things to more people than just Christmas, but also acted as a tool to properly educate those who didn't know. It definitely worked for me. So with that being said, readers, your homework assignment for the day. Write in the comment section below if you remember the Rugrats Hanukkah special or if you feel like sharing with the rest of the class, a special associated with an animated series that taught you the meaning of a holiday or a tradition you yourself don't really celebrate or practice. Whichever you decide to answer, I'd love to know your thoughts. If you want to help financially support the channel, you can join my Patreon by clicking the card at the end of the video or in the link in the description down below, where you can also find a link to my merchandise store. Or if you prefer to give a one-time donation, you can find links to my PayPal and my coffee account in the description box as well. Also, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications because I post new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and every other Friday. But until then, this is Redis 101. Class dismissed. <laughs>